6.9, the interior and exterior angles of a triangle. So uh, this lesson, we're going to be talking about the angles, that some of the angles of the interior uh, for the for triangles, and also the exterior angle and the relationship with the angles inside uh, the triangle itself. So we're going to have an equation for it. So now we can see that this is a triangle. The sum of the triangle angles are 180. So you have 40 and 68. So the remaining, how much is going to be the remaining? So if you add the two ones, you're going to have 108. So the remaining will be 72 uh, degrees, right? That's that's an easy one. Now we have an exterior angle. There's a relationship between this exterior angle 4 and 2 and 3. So this, if I have the value for uh, angle 2 and I have a value for angle 3, if I add those two values, again, they're going to end up to be equal to 4, okay? So it depends on what was the angle, and that's what we're going to be doing in, in this section. Uh, we're going to be doing equations also, so we could make 16x equal to 7x minus 1 plus 8x plus 8, and then solve for x. Uh, that's all easy and interesting, and it's fun to do. Now, the next section will be uh, section uh, 610, which is the last uh, section in this chapter, what we call angle-angle uh, triangle uh, similarities. So now, remember that we, you could have two different sizes of, of, of uh, triangles. Look at this one. Looks looks completely different, right? But if you look at the angles, you can see an angle of 50 and a 50, another angle of 46 and 46. That means for sure this angle Q is going to equal to this angle A. So in this case, we say, well, those are, are similar. And uh, here, the for example, look at this one here. The larger flag is 1.5 times the size of the, the smaller flag. So that means we can see that they, they are proportional, even though they look they don't look the same, but they are similar. So they have to be proportional and <coughs> have the same uh, angles. So the angles are very important. You look at those two uh, triangles, you can see 70 and 50. That means the third one, N and B, they have to be equal. Okay, so we can see that they are, those two triangles are similar. Same thing here. Look at this one here, 42 and 45, 85 and 85. That means uh, this is going to be the same. So those are not similar because the angles are not similar or equal in this case. So here also the same thing. So we have a linear angle. So we could say that 2x plus x is equal to 180, and we could solve for x. And we could say also x here. Remember, there's an x here. So this, this, we could do more than one thing here. So we'll, we'll do it together uh, when we get to, uh, to it in class. Those are the two sections that we're going to be doing. And then we're going to do, be doing all examples about the whole chapter, especially the last sections in the chapter, because that's, that was the latest. And uh, then we're going to be chart starting with chapter 7. Chapter 7 will be something different. Uh, we're going to be talking about uh, Pythagorean. And we'll go from there, guys. Okay? Talk to you later. Bye-bye.